can you imagine? The Sammy Continental Championship <laughs> has a nice ring to it, if you ask me. All I have to do is defend it tonight, and WWE will have no choice but to give in to popular demand and make the change. I have no idea who I'm facing, but it doesn't matter. I am going to beat whoever it is, and you will never, ever see the Intercontinental Championship again. Wait a second. Is this finally happening? We've been seeing and hearing about this person for weeks. Could this be the long-awaited debut of The Lock? I'm not sure what or who else it could be. The Lock has arrived on Raw! And apparently The Lock is Sammy's mystery challenger. Well, Sammy's big ideas about rechristening his titles the Sammy Continental Championship could be changing quickly. We've heard The Lock is a future champion, and we might not have to wait long for that to come true. This superstar has made a name for himself all around the world, and if you ask me, he looks like he fits right in here in WWE. Well, I agree. He's got the flashy debut, the pyro and all, but now it's time to see if he can deliver in the ring against a veteran competitor in Sami Zayn. Sami might have the experience edge, but he was caught off guard here tonight, so I'd actually give the advantage to The Lock. You might have a point, Saxton. Sami Zayn looks like he's hesitant to even go through with this match. He's shook. I don't blame him. Can the lock live up to all the hype? We're about to find out. Ladies and gentlemen, the Locks' long awaited debut is happening right now on Monday Night Raw. And what a way to kick things off as Sami Zayn's challenger for the Intercontinental Championship. There's been a lot of talk about how the Locks going to change, but I believe it when I see it. Time to see if he's ready to deliver the goods. Continuing to work on the arm with a and a carefully measured knee drop. This is the target. Jumping neck breaker. Ouch. Ah, oh, jeez. The champ taking their share of hits now. He had to be prepared to take some damage tonight. Placed in the corner. Oh, what a forearm. How humiliating. Oh, man, he has fired up now. Pinning down their opponent's arm. Driving a knee into the arm. <laughs> Sami Zayn retaliates. He saw that one coming. Unbelievable athleticism. Here's the pin title on the line. Early kick out, referee right on top of the action. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. Suplex. Going right after the neck. Neck breaker. And Sammy is countered. Going right up to the top. What are we going to see here? Dragon sleeper locked in. Oh, my oh. God. The champ looking out of sorts. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. A shot right to the kidney. Oh. And again. Great way to wear down your opponent. Uh-oh. Vicious knee drop. Hoisting their opponent up for a fisherman buster. He went right into that turnbuckle. Great wherewithal on the counter. Sequence of reversals there. Both competitors showing how well they know one another. One reversal after another. These two are reading each other's minds. Able to interrupt the attack. Seeing an answer for every move attempted. Big time move coming up. 
Shoulder breaker. From the ground up. Suplex delivered. And Locke is really putting the pressure on. A killer instinct from the lock is shining through. Double leg takedown, step through, looking for a submission here. Legs are locked up. Uh-oh. Oh, big stop. Look at this. Uh-oh. Avoiding contact. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. Fisherman suplex. And I think, oh, oh yeah. Trapping their opponent's arm. Cross face, submission time. It's not embarrassing to tap out. He'll save your forces as opponent to tap out. Yes, he didn't come here. There he is. Ready for your big Raw debut tonight? Yeah, can't wait to get out there. Good, we can't wait either. This has been a long time coming, and you've earned it. Thanks. Hey, what's up with the camera? She's been following me around since I got here. Oh, talent relations didn't tell you? It's for this documentary thing they're shooting on you. Sorry, I'm terrible with names. It's Kat, right? Yep. Cat with a K, K-A-T. Sorry I didn't introduce myself earlier, but when I'm shooting these, I gotta be a fly on a wall. You're going to be seeing a lot of cat over the next year. Gotta document the rise of the next big thing. The future world champion, The Lock. Woot woot. Sorry, fly on a wall. I've been meaning to talk to you about that whole The Lock thing, by the way. I, can I just use the name I've used my entire career? I mean, that's how the rest of the world knows me. Yeah, but that's not how the WWE universe knows you. We can't assume they've seen any of your matches before this. I think a lot of people have. Isn't that how WWE found me? Look, this is typical for superstars who come up outside the system. WWE likes to put their spin on things and 99% of the time, it's a huge improvement. Okay, but doesn't the name sound too much like The Rock? It sort of does. Do you mind? Think of this as a new and improved version of yourself. We have a proven track record with this sort of thing. You just need to trust the process. 
Is that what you're required to say now that you're office? No. Corporate requires me to say and do a lot of things, but that's not one of them. I don't know. It feels restrictive. I just want to be myself. I hear you, but it's not just a nickname. The entire WWE machine is behind this. We have a huge entrance planned with Pyro, a championship opportunity, new gear. <laughs> They're shooting this whole documentary about you. And we got this for you too. Get it? A lock? <laughs> is that left over from John Cena's chain gang days? Maybe. But things worked out okay for him, didn't they? Guess so. I gotta run. But I promise, this is gonna be fine. Just trust the process, and it'll all work out. Because remember, you're the lock. We good here, or...? Yep, got what I needed. That's a cut. Week two on Raw. Let's see what they have in store for me. Can't be any crazier than last week, right? Hey! I didn't get the chance to say hi last week. That was a hell of a debut. Thanks, Gabriel. Yeah. <laughs> Call me Gabe. Excuse me, Gabe, can you turn to camera and introduce yourself? Seriously? I've been in WWE for ten years. I think whoever's watching will know who I am. <laughs> we probably won't use this, but just in case. Fine. I'm Gabriel Slade. Three-time U.S. Champion, two-time Intercontinental Champ, multi-time Tag Champion, and all-around good guy. Does that work? Thanks. Anyway, just wanted to welcome you to WWE. I know it can be hard sometimes for people to get acclimated here. It's going okay so far, but yeah, it's a bit of an adjustment since I didn't come up through the Performance Center. Or even work the U.S. scene much before this. Okay. Well, let me give you some quick tips to fit in. Make sure you fist bump and or shake everyone's hand every time you see them. Be willing to give up your first class seat if there are veterans and coach. And uh, never sneeze around the big boss. Never. Well, I don't want to overwhelm you, but if you ever need any help or advice, I got your back. <laughs> I think I'm good, but thanks. All right. Later, Locke. Call me champ. Okay, champ. That was a good dry run. Now, let's do another take without the interruption from the Raw Welcoming Committee. <laughs> Jeez, no wonder that guy has never really made it. I'm too friendly. I think we got it. I need to go get changed.
Wow, look who it is. Sammy, what happened to your neck? Don't get cute with me. You know exactly what happened. I had no idea who I was facing, and as a result, I lost, suffering emotional and physical damages after you assaulted me with that safe. I am going to sue you for everything you're worth. I'd rather take you on in the ring than in the courtroom, but it doesn't look like you're in any condition to do that. No, I'm not, thanks to you and your shenanigans. But maybe we can work something out. I won't sue under the following conditions. First, when I'm ready, I get a rematch for my title. And second, you no longer use the safe as part of your entrance as it will cause further emotional distress, putting me at an unfair disadvantage. I actually already told management I was done with the safe. Anyway, just let me know when you're ready to lose to me again. I will, but it won't be a loss for me. And in the meantime, I have one other condition to prevent legal action. First, you must face my hand-picked opponent, so I can rest up and do some extra scouting. This feels like one too many requirements. I'm going to let you cool off, and maybe we'll revisit this some other time, okay? Rest up, buddy. Buddy? I am not your buddy. And you can't get rid of me that easily. I will be getting my Intercontinental Championship back sooner rather than later. Want to join my book club? I tried to recruit Robert Bruce. Are you fine? You can call your lawyer all you want, but I decide when we face each other again, and it's not now. I'm adding general hostility and resistance to cooperate to my list of com. Are you finally ready to give me an opportunity to regain my? I'm ready. And before? No. I'm not. Take a good look at the new face of WWE. It's the lock. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Indianapolis, Indiana, weighing in at 206 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, the lock. That Intercontinental Championship looks good on the lock, doesn't it? He won it in his debut and hasn't looked back. The lock has been handed the keys to WWE. Is he ready to drive?
A man who absolutely adores a fight. And his opponent, accompanied by Sami Zayn, representing the Brawling Brutes from the United Kingdom, weighing in at 253 pounds, Ridge Holland! A top competitor in professional rugby for over a decade before joining WWE. It's tough enough to even survive professional rugby for a decade. You know that old adage, speak softly and carry a big stick? Well, it certainly applies to this man. Holland going to let his power speak for him tonight. After his spectacular debut, the Intercontinental Champion will look to keep his momentum going tonight against Sami Zayn's hand-picked opponent, Ridge Holland. Looks like Ridge Holland has company, though. Sami Zayn has apparently opted to rehab his neck at ringside. Buckle up, folks. The Locks title might not be up for grabs, but his reputation would certainly take a hit if he takes a step backwards here tonight. Dropping the knee for more punishment. Into the corner. This can't be good. Set him up. Russian leg sweep. An uh, arm bar. Just stretching out the arm. Damage to the shoulder is definitely going to hamper your ability to fight. Going through the arena. Looking vulnerable on that top turnbuckle. From the road for the shoulder breaker. Lock launching attacks left and right. The locks showing that edge, that ruthlessness. Oh no. Oh, I stopped right to the gut. As the arm bars stretch in. Punishing stretch. Shooting pain in the shoulders, the kind of thing that builds and builds during a match. Oh, that might have just broken something. Nice takedown. Going for the pin. Sami Zayn just blindsided the lock with his chain. This was all a setup to weaken the inner. Sami Zayn. Did Sami say something about the safe? Could be some kind of revenge for what happened when the lock debuted. With the deranged Sami Zayn calling the shots, nothing is off limits. Well, whatever the plan is, Sami looks to be maneuvering the lock toward the stage. And the lock's helpless after taking that blow from his own chain. And there it is. Ridge Holland has brought out the lock safe. What the heck is their plan? Belly to belly suplex on the unforgiving stage. Now what are they going to do? Is Sami Zayn trying to tip the safe over on top of the lock? Those things weigh like a thousand pounds. This is way worse than what the lock did to Sami. Our Intercontinental Champion is going to be seriously injured. This is bad. Especially with both of them pushing it now. I don't think I can watch this. Gabriel Slade is here. Thankfully, he's going to put an end to this. Yeah, Sami and Ridge want no part of him. Oh, no idea if these two are friends. Maybe Slade just didn't want to see someone get squashed. Well, Locke certainly looks frustrated with himself, or Gabriel Slade, or maybe all of the above. He should just be happy he's walking out of here on his own two feet and not getting peeled off the stage.